It's a hell of a thing for a man to abandon his wife on their wedding day, but Rusty had had no choice. Emma had fallen off their horse, and Leather Kelly was bearing down on them, guns ablazing. Rusty knew he had to ride on if he wanted to survive, but he also knew Emma would be back for him. Someday. As it turned out, someday was a dark night in Sourbank, and it arrived just as Rusty was drifting off to sleep in his room above the saloon. One eye popped open with the first heavy footstep on the stairs below, and he was standing before the second could fall. He always slept fully dressed, waiting for this moment, and he reached into his vest pocket to pull out the picture of herself that Emma had sent him from Indiana when he first went west years before. I'm forever with you, the note on the back said, and soon enough it would be true. The footsteps on the stairs grew louder, and Rusty could see a shadow playing in the flickering lantern light on the hallway floor through the gap under his door. He drew his six-shooter, trying to decide whether to aim it at the door or at himself. The footsteps stopped, and something heavy whooshed against the door, back and forth, back and forth. In the moonlight, splashing through his bedroom window, Rusty caught a glimpse of a bloody snatch of lace as it swished through the crack beneath the door. The doorknob turned, and the room was swallowed in blackness.